To me, art museums mean culture. You usually don't expect to take a picture at a wall and put on like costumes at an art museum. <laughs> it's more just like walk through and watch other people's art. <laughs> So, I mean, that's new. Awesome! Thank you. I'll print a copy and we have frames if you want to decorate awesome. the frame. University art museums, indeed, art museums in general, are in the middle of an incredible transformation. I put the K on before I put the tape on. It. The Chazen Museum of Art wants to be at the vanguard of a radical rethinking of what it means to be a university art museum in the 21st century. There aren't enough like cool places to go hang out with your friends and I think that the art museum is an underrated place to just go and look at the art and take it all in and just have a good time. We are passionate about the Wisconsin idea and want to bring the Chazen's influence and reach beyond the gallery walls. And we like saw you here. Yeah, so right? Because like, it's just oh. out in the open, it's free. Yeah. My name is Amy Gilman and I am the director at the Chazen Museum of Art. This time last year, I was introducing myself to you for the first time. Now I'm coming back to you to talk a little bit about what we have done, but also where are we going. The Wisconsin Salon of Art, principal state art show, staged by students of the gallery committee. The history of the Chazen is also the history of its collection. Not many realize that the Chazen's collection actually started around 1913 as paintings gifted by generous donors and alumni started being placed throughout the campus, before ultimately moving to a storage unit in the basement of Bascom Hall in 1939, where they remained for over three decades until the LVM Art Center opened in 1970. Walked over to University Avenue and broke ground for the new LVM Art Center. We've grown quite a bit since that storage unit, transforming from the LVM Art Center to an accredited museum, to being renamed the Chazen Museum of Art in 2005, and opening an expansion in 2011, a project that doubled the square footage of the museum. We're now the second largest collection of art in Wisconsin and are the largest university art museum in the Big Ten. People haven't given it a chance if they think that it's just for the older generation because there's so much in there for us too if you have an open mind about it. I've been working closely with Chazen staff and stakeholders over the past year to develop a strategic plan that will guide our work for the next five years, one that will leverage the museum's collection, resources, and community to ultimately make the Chazen the largest, most inclusive arts classroom on UW-Madison's campus. It's a place where I can think critically and look and kind of take some time off from my day and just kind of relax and look at things that might not, things that kind of challenge the way I think or kind of can help me reframe my perspective on things. How we will execute the strategic plan can best be summed up by three main objectives. Aligning our resources, ensuring sustainability, and increasing relevance. It's about walking away with even better questions. That, My name is Jonathan Fields, and I have the privilege to be a radio producer and produce podcasts about art. I wonder if the botany department could actually identify the plants. Right! Right? A good piece of art doesn't tell you much of anything, but what it does is that it sparks good questions, and it causes you to think about it and daydream and consider another point of view. I think what we can do is build better conversations. And when you can have a conversation, that is what creates community. Achieving our goal of becoming the largest, most inclusive arts classroom on campus certainly will not happen overnight. Each of these three objectives will be tackled in phases throughout the next five years. And we will seek guidance and feedback from friends of the Chazen every step of the way. Our staff and volunteers, donors, advisory council, and campus and community partners are as valuable to the Chazen as its collection, and this plan is only achievable if we work on it together. As we navigate the next phase of the museum's evolution, we seek to move in but one direction, forward. Will you join us?